ago I was in Italy. I am in Italy. Oh, sole mio. You can't really see anything. Um, I am in Italy. Finally, I'm staying in a little tiny place right now. Today I am in Bai. This is definitely one of the main events of 2023. I flew to Italy for my friend's wedding. She is Italian, he is South African, and it was my greatest honor to be one of their bridesmaids. I decided to make a holiday out of it, which is why I was in Bali for one day before traveling to Polignano, which you'll see in the next video, and then finally traveling to Foggia, which is where they got married. So I had a little solo day here. It was a little bit of a tough flight. I went via Stuttgart and I was feeling really sick in the airplane so I felt so good to have a shower and just go and explore where I was. I was in Bari Santo Spirito which is not in Bari Central um, so I didn't even see the town until the very end of my holiday but it was so beautiful I could walk straight from the B&B it was called La Vida and I could go straight to the beach and I walked along the side of the beach and just inhaled that beautiful sea air which I had so been missing because I live in Berlin and it was just beautiful. I tried to practice my Italian a little bit and ordered an espresso and just chilled and looked out across the ocean for a very long time and wished that I could stay there forever. There's a knot in my heart and it won't go away. This feeling of happiness mingled with pain. Perhaps pain because I cannot always be here or because those who live here don't realize their luck. I wish I could stare at the horizon each and every day, but in my life I met with a tree and neighbors looking in. We're all nosy, I look too. Oh, to wake up and walk down my road to see little ships bobbing up and down to hear the roar of waves without having to turn on a soothing sound. The ocean calls me in, beckoning, saying come home. Somehow each of us are connected to this mighty force that is the water. Some feel it more than others, I suppose. Waves lapping on the stones. Each time they come, I'm a little more hypnotized. Maybe I'm just tired, running on no sleep. But all I know for now, Italy gets under your skin and her veins run deep.
So I was so hungry and most places don't open for another four or five hours. So I got like loads of fried stuff. Um, it's good. <laughs> I prefer to have calamari, but the place over there is closed, even though Google said it's open. I bought calamari earlier, all kinds of things, and um, I'm honestly not that happy with what I did. I should have just waited a little bit and gone to a pizzeria, but I was like, I'm really hungry, I haven't eaten anything all day. Look at these scuba divers. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna do it for the video, but I really don't want to. It's not bad if you don't look at them. It's just so salty, I don't know. So then I also got a Coke because I was like, I want some juice or something, you know? Something sweet. So I've had a bit of a failed food day today. I spit out that last bit off camera because I just can't do it. I just can't do it and I feel so bad. Oh, I've got all these mosquito bite scars everywhere. I've been bitten like crazy this year. Um, anyway, so I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I must say though, I'm really living for this, um, this backdrop. Look at this. This is amazing. Now I just need a wine or something, but tomorrow, I think tomorrow the holiday is really going to start because today I arrived, I'm alone. I'm not going to be alone the whole time. Be in the middle of nowhere, like there's no supermarkets anywhere close. The main town is an hour away by bus. And I don't trust the bus system because the bus system let me down today. So, yeah, it's been an adventure these first few hours. Um, now it's almost six. It's almost six. The sun goes down in an hour, but I think I'm going to start walking back now. If I get really hungry, I'll eat the fried food that I have. It's like filled with tomato, mozzarella. I got like a sausage thing, but it's all just a lot of pastry and a lot of oil so i'm genuinely craving like juice <laughs> there's not even like this is when you know you've been living in berlin for a long time and you're used to like the spätis and being just like having things at your beck and call all the time so it's nice to have to make do but at the same time it is kind of um scary Quite entertaining watching these scuba divers, I won't lie. They're just like floating. It's so funny. Where are they? Can't see them. I'm so happy that past me decided to bring the last three sweets that I have. Because I feel like I really need something sweet. These guys keep interrupting my vlog. Right, I need to go because I have 10% battery and I hope I remember where I need to go. Um, but I'm going to insert a picture here because I um, accidentally managed to change my phone background without touching it. And um, it's like a manifestation of Italy. <laughs> right, manifestation is the wrong word, but I don't know. I managed to change it to something um, which was basically what I had a few months ago as my background. Which just reminded me to be um, excited for the future, excited for travels and not get so caught up in the daily life. Anyway, I can't vlog here. Y'all, the beach is there and the noise is here. <laughs>
been here at the beach all morning and it is so, so nice. It's really, really hot right now. It's about 12.30, so I'm gonna go get some pizza. No, not pizza. I don't want pizza. I'm gonna see what this restaurant here has. There's a restaurant here somewhere. Um, and yeah, I've just been laying in the sun, trying to speak Italian to people, but it's so pretty here. I'm pretty sure I've gotten a sunburn. <laughs> I've been facing the sun with my back all morning, so I need to face the sun with my face now. seriously what more could you want I could really get used to this lifestyle um, I just had an amazing lunch it was 25 euros for I had mussels fries a salad a big bottle of water a glass of wine and an espresso for 25 euros that's that's you can't get that anywhere else after having been in Germany for so many years there are lots of things that I'm no longer used to. So one is like, I forget that people are like, people are staring, but not for a bad reason, you know? Um, and I'm kind of also like trying to remember that people here like talk to you and they say hi. Um, like yesterday when I was walking along this road, people like were in their gardens and then I'd look at them and I'd smile and then they'd say buonasera and I was like ah, oh my god people are talking to me but <laughs> it's actually it's actually not a bad thing like I love it but I just I'm not used to it anymore and um yeah but it's really nice like just walking up to someone like walking past someone and being like buonasera buongiorno I love it um but I'm not used to it anymore Look who I found in the airport. Hello. <laughs> this is the ultimate place for a tracking shot. Look, we're moving, but we're not moving. Ooh.
you like to try from Puglia? It's from the region. <laughs> it was three ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Comedian. And Come on, you gotta try it. We're on holiday. By the way, it was shaking like that. No, because real food doesn't shake. We all see the ghetto that she put in between her legs. <laughs> I'm not strong enough to do it without putting it between my legs. She is a husband. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, she claimed when Jesus name. Amen. I don't know if he's going to come from Italy. I don't he doesn't know. need to come from Italy. This is how they do it. today <laughs> yo heavy 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 i need heavy, to heavy. cheers you okay cheers to italy cheers. <laughs> look at the sun burn bro exactly. yeah it's not great Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yo i knew it was bad but now i see it for really the light electric yo Bert. Du hast Christ. So sehen die Deutschen aus, <lacht> wenn die im Urlaub sind. Rot wie eine Tomate. <lacht> yeah. We said, do you have any lemon? And he said, yeah, we have a tree. So fresh as can be. Praise God.